Okay guys, so just going through the technique and the setup. So we're going to need a chair, but we also need something to elevate the chair. So pillows come in handy if you're in the home setting. So literally just two or three pillows, because we want to be changing the angle of how much the hip is flexing. We also need something to elevate the heel on, so again, home setting. Then we can have a book. We'll need something that's roughly around half an inch to an inch high that's stable. And we also need something of an external load. So if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, we're going to bring that into the goblet position. But like we've used before, if you haven't got those and you're at home, then we can just as easily be using a backpack and we can fit it with some books or bottles or bricks or blocks or something just to weigh it down, okay? And that's going to help engage the abdominals. So just regarding the setup, so we're going to have our little step roughly just in front of the chair. Now we want to come to a point where we're elevating the heels and we're flexing through the hip, but when you come down to the chair, you're not going to slip off the chair or miss the chair. That's why the setup's important of your little hill lift. So just play around with the angle to start off with. It needs to be reasonably close because we're going to be sitting right back onto the chair. So just be careful with that. Regarding setup with the feet, we're literally going to stay in line with the hips. Feet are straight forwards. We're going to come into the goblet position. So just using the bag. So heels elevated straight forwards. We're going to be untrucking the shoulders, driving elbows through. So we're looking to keep the upper arm below that 60 degrees. We're going to feel hopefully a little bit of a stretch happening between the shoulder blade and the spine. We're going to keep the chin tucked in. And as always, we're keeping the rib cage down and we're going to roll the pelvis back. We want to form a bit of a brace within the abdominals. So from that point, we're going to be tucking the pelvis under, breathing in through the nose as you come down, flexing through the hip. You're actually going to put the whole body weight on top of the chair, and then we're going to breathe out through the mouth as you come back up to that starting position. So breathing in through the nose, coming down, Breathing out for the mouth as you come back up. So just regarding the squat, stay heel heavy all the way through and shift the knees forward as well. So shift the knees, moving through the hip, then coming back through. So follow the amount of repetitions we show in your program. If you've got any questions, just let me know.